Hello, this is Hakadabeen, and I am here with r slash Tumblr again. We're tumbling once again. Sorry, I just saw something in the corner of my eye. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Survives the horror movie by being said to a silly, goofy guy that my breast has fundamentally changes the genre. <laughs> I think the most unintentionally pretentious part of me is I generally forget that most people do not have near encyclopedic knowledge of mythology and folklore. I literally just assume most people know at least the name of every Greek god. My mom and I were watching the a Banshees of Insurance, and that starts, she asked, do you know what a Banshee is? And I was so stunned because it would never occur to me to ask that question because I would never assume the average person doesn't know what, an, what a Banshee is. The average person knows what a Banshee is, right? You know what a Banshee is. You know the name of the Greek gods, right? You know that, you know what... A Norse myth where Loki fricked the horse, right? 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 Oh my god. <sighs> when I was in middle school, I went through a phase where I was obsessed with, with a, 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 a lot of different kinds of mythology and folklore, mostly Greek. I'm not going to explain why I was obsessed with Greek in particular, but let's just say it was delusion related. Anyway, now, ever since, I have had the encyclopedic knowledge of every freaking thing relating to Greek mythology that you can think of. Do I know the gods? Yeah. Do I know they're a, a freaking dumb and, uh, and horny? Yes. That's why I don't like them. Do I know the uh, Norse myth where Loki fricked horses? Yeah. I wish I didn't, though. And I've got this knowledge on a lot of different subjects, too. In fact, I'm thinking of making a video about some common uh, in terms used in, um, in um, otaku slash weibo spaces. Let me know what you think about that. I might do it anyway. I mean, this video doesn't come out for a few days. <sighs> let's, get, get, let's get moving. <sighs> My flatmate told me there's this cat always around at the Utney campus. Off to the library. It even has its own library card. The owner made a Facebook group called uh, Pep Spotting. The cat's name is Pep, where you can post pics of the cat if you see it somewhere. But how will Pep pay off all her loans? Obviously, with the donations you give to the cat when you take a picture of it, you'd better be giving the cat money. The cat needs it. <laughs> oh yeah, I kind of like this um, mod where it's just a more e e themed. I low key ship Twitter to Avalar Twitter now. <laughs> the Twitter users are coming, are coming quick. Pull oh Twit, it blur oh yowie. You are not welcome here. Not anymore. I never made art faster in my in my life. It started out with a kiss. How did it end up like this? <laughs> it's because they're divorced. Man, this goes hard. Feel free to screenshot. 
The voice selfie. <laughs> so I'm looking at the voice from Twitter. Tumblr hates Twitter now. I can understand, but this is so... so sad. The bots are asleep. Post Tumblr x Twitter art. Okay, okay, but this is fascinating because it's such a visceral example of how mythology works. Most characters and mythologies are personifications of concepts or embody some natural or phenomenon. Yeah, um, that actually is a is a thing where a lot of um, characters, particularly deities in mythology, are literally just concepts or natural phenomenon. Like, like maybe you have Zeus, the god of the skies and lightning, because they didn't know oh that lightning is actually just electrons going from the clouds down onto Earth because that's the fastest way for it to move. Because that's what electrons like to do. But anyway, let's get back to with this. Most characters in mythologies are personifications of concepts or embody some natural phenomenon. Like the story of Hades and Persephone is there to explain why the seasons change. Persephone being in, in the mental or summer and the absence of them both resulting in and death, Hades a main and winter. So we can't have Persephone stay in, in underworld all year round or have the better sell her back to Earth permanently, otherwise the myth would lose its core function. Interpreting the myth without the lens of the natural phenomenon that explains would make it less an integral part of itself and therefore make the plot and characters seem strange or unnatural. Why does the matter hate Hades so much? Seeing how so many mothers are okay with Zeus doing atrocious things to their offspring just because he's Zeus, does Persephone actually want to stay or not? What's with the a bizarre arrangement? Most modern interpretation and in stripments of their natural context, making them um, character driven instead of phenomena driven which just makes him land differently. They can still be fine stories, just not myths. Not in the traditional sense. <sighs> and now we get to this view. This is absolutely a myth. The most classical kind. The relationship between characters who are personifications of objects, phenomena, or concepts, or in this case, online platforms. Use as an intuitively understood metaphor for an event, the demise of Twitter and the Tumblr user base being unwilling to accept Twitter's user base. It's a story that can work as a so-called explanation myth. We have seasons because for seventy spends half, half a yes or day underworld and half, half a year with her, her mother. Her. We don't like Twitter because the Twitter god and Tumblr god broke up. Ladies and gents and other assorted and respectables, we here are witnessing the creation of a perfect modern myth. And that is true. It is beautiful. Um, this is a this is a McDonald's. Science have found, including eyes on science of walls, significantly the tears nearby cry. <laughs> no, the tear nearby anything. The mosaic exceeds your sins. Don't cry in front of the mosaic guy. It will report to the police. It has a camera in it. Don't worry. I love that sound. I am a little bit obsessed with makeover or, or dressing scenes where the reveal is an undeniable downgrade from what the character started out with. Top tier comedy. <laughs> this absolute disgrace. <laughs> the last one is just Shrek and it's so accurate. <laughs> oh. 
the saddest sight in the world is a married couple and music and his wife is super excited and happy and husband looks like he was dragged along and he's making a big deal about how much he doesn't want to be there and the wife gets embarrassed or ashamed. This is a funny post. It's actually heartbreaking. And I see it happen at like every other musical I, I attend. <sighs> yeah, as an usher, what makes me sad is when I see wives clearly dressed in their Sunday best, beaming and buying merch and smiling at me as I hand them a program. Tony, some guy dressed in jeans and a sweatshirt who declines a program, and there's at least a quarter of the couples who come in or more. Like, come on, man. She really loves this stuff. Can't you try to enjoy it for her, or at least? Hmm. <sighs> About as bad as when you see a big-eyed kid who looks like this is the greatest day of their life, all excited to see the show, and their parent, grandparent, aunt, cousin, friend, or whoever they convince to take them, keeps making fun of them and saying how dumb or ridiculous they're being. For frick's sake, this is a person you care about, and this is a thing that means a lot to them. Smile, get off your phone, and be happy for them. This goes for any loved one's interests. Doesn't matter the interest. Doesn't matter the loved one. This example, my hubby loves airplanes. He works in the aviation industry. He basically has AV gas flowing in his, his veins. No matter where we go on trips, if he'll find an, an aviation museum. I don't mind aircraft museums, but he will literally stop and take photos of rivets. Seriously, one time I was with him at the National Air and Space Museum, and I had my nice DSLR camera, and he asked if, he, if I could take some photos of the seams of the SR-71 with your good camera. And you know what? It wasn't my favorite subject to photograph, but I gladly did it, because it made him happy. Uh, we've been doing this for the 30 plus years we've been together. He comes with me to symphonies and art galleries and lets me have the remote well, during hockey season to the point where he's now a fan. I know he's daydreaming about airplane agents a majority of the time and he's there and, and trying and I love that about him. So yeah, be present for your favorite people and make an effort. It will pay a joyful lifelong dividends since you can't begin to imagine. So yeah, if your partner is really into like, let's say, cartoons or anime or something, try to enjoy it. Not just for your own sake to gain a new interest, but just because you love the person, so you'll probably love the things they're into. It's just how it works a lot of the time. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, if plague doctors hadn't been a real thing and you made them up for a speculative history or fantasy story, who would complain that they're, too, they're plausibly advanced and way too cool? Hang on. Like, you're like, yeah, there's this cool, super lethal illness and nobody actually knows how it spreads. So just to be safe, they got these sick, got the freaking hazards. At suits. No, Greg, shut up. They totally he had all the materials to make them. You can make egg fabrics fly resistant by waxing or oiling it. And the mask is because of the... Guys, shut up. Let me finish. The mask is... They sent it... Guys, shut up. They didn't have germ theory, but they figured it had something to do with the air smelling. No, shut up. You're a freaking furry. The beak makes it look cool. Jerks. <laughs> Literally... Plague doctors are hard to believe. Yeah.
Young Chinese are too fat and masturbate too much to pass army fitness test. 77% of young Americans are too fat, mentally ill on drugs and more to join a military Pentagon study finds. I mean, what's with it at the army and the body shaming? Dang. We are more alike than we are unalike. <sighs> I need feminism because when, de when Jesus does a magic trick, it's a freaking miracle. But when a woman does a magic trick, she gets burned at the stake. Fabulous. I mean, they did also kill Jesus. That was a pretty significant thing that happened. Like, I understand where you're coming from here, but they very much did kill Jesus. I'm not sure. I think Jesus is literally had to beg a whole bunch of Romans to nail him. Oh yeah, Jesus is absolutely gay. Oh, who says otherwise is 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 intentionally ignorant of uh, the truth. You don't ask a whole bunch of of people to strip, beat, and nail you if you are not interested in in, in that at particular way. Jesus was a gay freak. I have loved that. Anyway. What's the difference between America and yogurt? If you leave yogurt alone for 200 years, it'll develop a culture. America has a culture, actually. It's just very divided depending on where you go, but America has multiple cultures. This was like the sickest part I've ever seen. As my friend is, that she said yogurt can be fat free. There. There is the e e e bird. Enter Dion on on Isas. Dang, that's hard, hard to, hard to say. I always hate this guy's name. I know who he is. The God of Wine Island Parties. I love him. I hate his name. Okay, ladies. Up we get. No more couching. No more sobbing. You heard him, ladies. So many mornings. I need Dion to do this for me. Same. I could physically feel the. <laughs> oh, I love this. You know this out. Manifesting over my head whenever I'm about to make the bad choice. In my own defense, I'm aware that my terrible ideas are terrible before I go through with them anyway. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be funny. Drake, Josh, where's the body of Christ? Uh, it's right. Uh, dang. Okay, I'm I'm actually loving this. This is good. I hate the dogification of werewolves. By making them happy demos, and this is the best part of transformative on on monstrosity. Repression. If you aren't afraid of the beast within, what's the freaking point? It's a big bad wolf looking on moonlit light. It's not your golden retriever in the park at noon. Justice for repression. Justice for the beast within. Justice for the fear of who you would be if you really let loose. Is the monster your true self? Does the thrill of the wild outweigh the guilt that comes in the light of day? When there's mud on your or feet and blood on your hands, 
What does it mean that you crave that which disgusts you? That the wolf isn't just something you become. It's something you always were. Honestly, agreed. I think same for like vampires and stuff. Any transfer or or formative um, monstrosity you can think of, where someone uh, transforms into a monster, where they, they start to have to wonder if the monster is the true them or not. That's that's a good story. Stop making egg werewolves into freaking dogs, please. <laughs> Toy Story 2 bloopers. Cause Pixar animated bloopers. Animated bloopers! This is why Pixar is greater than anything else. During back when they were decent. Whew. We need more jiggle fist. It's a kiss for visible. <laughs> oh, bulge. Excuse me, but what? We need more jiggle fist kiss for visible bulge. I do not want to yell that. <sighs> but her office trend. Overrun by Mondays, the trend of bare minimum Mondays may help with your mental health, an expert says. Already there, I'm doing my part. Bare minimum Mondays too, with tired to care Tuesdays, whatever I could get away with, with Wednesdays. This job uh, of sex Thursday is frickin' Fridays sat on my butt Saturdays, and somebody else is gonna have to do it Sundays. That is the work week. The only acceptable work week when you're being paid minimum wage. <sighs> Is that creepy that from the day you are born you start to die? <sighs> Actually, fun fact! If sorry to die is defined as so sorry to dying at a faster rate that they are replaced, then you don't start dying the day you're born. You're still growing cells at if so, growing in cells are still being replaced pretty quick, for about 22 to 25 years. So 25, that's when you start to die. Ask any 25 year old and they will confirm. <laughs> this is making me incredibly uncomfortable to think about. The brain cell and this picture of the universe. Do you ever think, perhaps, that the universe that we could be living in is simply a brain cell to another living creature? I've been mind fricked. That said, do you think, perhaps, that in our brain cells there are people like us living? You know what, just complete mind destruction, why not, let's keep going. It's a trolley. It is only killing everyone possible. You can stop the trolley at any time, but doing so would disrupt the trolley service, causing the company to lose profits. I have to stop the trolley right away then. What about the freedom to lie on the tracks? OP, he hates liberty. These are the best tags on his post. If I lie on the tracks enthusiastically enough, they'll let me in the trolley. I just know it. If you stop the trolley now, it'd be unfair to people who worked hard to get run over it or by it in the past. That is literally corporate America. Welcome to America. This is, is America. This entire thing right here is America. That is the entirety of it. 
I don't want to hear any arguments because it's just a fact. I have to find this and reply this now because my ma my name is not Amanda Itaku. <sighs> Reblog if your name isn't Amanda. 2,121,566 people are not Amanda and counting. We'll find you, Amanda. This has almost 11 million notes. What is this? I've never seen this post once in 10 years on this site. I've never even heard this before, though. What the heck? I've seen it a few times, actually. It all helps. I'll say if um, my name is not Amanda, be blog bait. How do I get people to see my posts? They're all just cr shit posts for me at 4 a.m. But only I follow, but my only followers are porn bots. <laughs> that that is similar. I mean, if you really want people to see your posts, you can always blaze them. You know, keep the lights on at Tumblr. I don't know if I want to read that one out. Seems a bit iffy. Let's zoom in so we can actually read. Yeah, why does Sana look like a Pixar Bob? Not mean. Silly e e question. I love her, her design. Oh yeah, when I was a, a complete a, a jerkwad, I got banned from um, PM Seymour's or Discord or channel. I deserved it. I was being a downright a jerk. Anyway. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna take this opportunity to stop this meme dead in its tracks. Even though I know you meant this as a little gag, there are probably only three characters in Pixar out of 20-ish moms that even fit the Pixar mom joke. Helen Parr, Laurel Lightfoot, and maybe Andy's mom. Okay, look at all these moms. I mean, I think when you think of Pixar Mom, you think of this one. I know you think of Andy's mom. I think you might think of this one sometimes. And maybe this one, but it's mostly less. It's mostly this one. The rest are either really tight proportions, monsters, a toy, a car, or an animal. The girl that I uh, uh, most likely think about is a girl from the brain and an heart animated short or its inner workings. I think most people think of Elastigirl from The Incredible, so I don't know her actual name. And that was Disney the Animation Studios themselves, not Pixar. For the love of God and legs, y'all need a better joke. Oh, it's answering your question, why it's not a If like that, that yeah, mermaid, and it's cool. <laughs> that ending was great. Philly, <sighs> it's a cute little thing though. Sometimes it's hard to remember that owls are incredibly dangerous predators seen by cultures throughout the world as ill omens, especially when they look like toasted marshmallows. My boss once described them as flying fillers filled with seething hate hatred. Oh yeah, that just reminded me of a funny Amori meme. You know, it's just Amori being an edge lord, being like, 
I, I hate her, and it just made me laugh. Alright, I think this is going to be the last one. Lord, sometimes I really despise look, searching for art in a character tag, because 9% of the a picture slash gif posts are just X reader posts, and they get sorted into picture slash gif because of the aesthetic dividers and such. Ah! Wait. Oh, we already read that. Okay. We're done here. We're going back to the computer room. Heck yeah. That was our slash stumble. I tumble for a lot shorter than I usually do that time. I just today got an idea. I was watching a VTuber and I got this idea because I didn't know how to pronounce Sundari. They started calling them like Sundries and stuff. Anyway, I got the idea to actually... Why the heck is my eyes not working? I got this idea to like start a series or just do a video where I start explaining in freaking terms that are commonly used by anime fans and weaves and such. Things like Sundari, what the heck a waifu is, and maybe even what the heck a VTuber like myself is. I might start tomorrow. I did a Twitter poll on it today. By the time this comes out, it will already be decided. So, chances are tomorrow we're going to start that series. If not, that's fine. Either way, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, ignore the fact that my eyes refuse to stay open, despite me not blinking right now, and I will see you tomorrow.